Robert, students and families, you have made it. Bravo, well done, congratulations. Today is officially the last day of virtual learning and kudos to you. I cannot say enough positives about our staff during this time, whether it was the front office staff troubleshooting so many questions uh, regarding registration and check-in and closing out books for the end of the year, or our custodial crew trying to get things ready for the next school year, our paraprofessionals who have been working tirelessly to help not only in our building, but across the district in servicing families, to our teachers who have risen to the occasion during a global pandemic to virtually instruct children in unprecedented times. I'm proud of you guys, and it's an honor to be with you and work beside you. Parents, well done. You did it. You made it. Some days were definitely probably better than others, but I do hope that you all have a fantastic summer. A couple things that are important as we transition from this school year to the next school year. First off, we do not know what next school year will look like. We will update you as soon as we know, and I hope that that is sooner rather than later. I know that there is complexity in planning, and so as soon as we know things from a district standpoint, we will have a plan in place for Roberts Elementary and for how that will look like as we not only keep people safe, but we also ensure that students are educated to the best of our abilities. Next week is our device pickup week as well as library books. So here's how that's going to work. You should have gotten an email from your classroom teacher that gave you the specific days, but we are looking at May 27th. And May 28th is our pickup days for devices. You will need to go to the appropriate pickup lane, just like if you're having uh, your kid dropped off for school. From the 27th of May, from that 8 o'clock to 11 o'clock time frame, you can come during any of that time. We'll have an hour break. Then we'll go from 12 o'clock to 3 o'clock. On the 28th, we're going to have pickup a little bit later in the day for those of you that have jobs that can't get away from uh, during the day. And so we'll have a 12 o'clock to 3 o'clock pickup time slot, as well as a 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. pickup time slot. Here's what's important. We've got stuff for you, and you've got stuff for us. So if you have a device, leave it in your trunk. We'll get it. We'll collect it. It'll sit for five days. After that period, we'll inspect all of it for any damages that might have occurred, hopefully none. And then we will make sure that in the trunk we have large brown paper sacks that we will put all of your child's belongings in that we've gotten from the classroom, from art rooms, and other places. We'll put that in your trunk and you can go and look at that later. Yearbooks. We tried to get them in as fast as we could while also kind of capturing the moment of COVID-19. Um, unfortunately, they are not here yet for pickup. If they are available, we'll make sure that they're in the brown bags. If they're not, then we'll make sure that we find a way for you guys to pick up those yearbooks so you can have um, not only a 10-year anniversary celebration yearbook, but a COVID-19 who could ever forget yearbook. Fifth graders, we are pushing out a video late next week for you. Our hope is to push it out next Friday. So that way, with friends, family, and others, you can celebrate. It's going to be a video that highlights staff, teachers, and you. Your six years for a lot of you that you spent here, we want to make sure that you're honored well. Then, later this summer, if things allow or into the fall if things allow. We're gonna look at some sort of picnic where we bring you guys back to school, any of you that can. Maybe we do that teacher versus fifth grade kickball game that all fifth graders always lose against teachers in. Or maybe um, we'll be able to have some other kind of fun things involved with that celebration. We're committed to still trying to make that work, but also trying to protect ourselves during these times and following guidelines um, we're going to have a, a video for you to partake in, and it's going to be pretty special. You won't want to miss it. Roberts Elementary, Roberts rocks, doesn't it? We miss you guys. We love you. We hope that you have a phenomenal summer. And if there is anything you need, know that we are an email or a phone call away. And the plan for how we continue 
to have an excellence in tradition and learning. We'll continue and we'll push that out as soon as we know. Take care, guys.